and welcome to 101 Ideas for Minecraft Learners. In this episode, we're going to be making a sorting machine out of hoppers and chests and some redstone. So, and I'm going to be basically talking a little bit about hoppers uh, and a little bit about the mechanics and why this system works. So, this is more like uh, kind of like a puzzle or kind of an engineering kind of idea within Minecraft. It's great for kind of getting people to think think about uh, how things work and why things are working in the first place. So really, for educational purposes, this is all about problem solving uh, through understanding some simple mechanics within Minecraft. And I think that's one of the joys of Minecraft. So uh, that's partly the reason why I'm doing it. The other reason is I was making this because uh, I do my everyday Minecraft uh, and all my storage, it pro I have loads of storage problems, okay? my All my chests in my, in my house, in my world, are a complete and utter mess. They are very messy. And uh, and I thought, well, I need some way of, uh, of, of kind of clearing them up a little bit. Uh, so a storage, an automatic storing system that sorts out all your stuff and puts them in the right chest is exactly what I was after. So I went and I had a little look at, um, at, at the video. Let me just go and check the video name. Okay, so I, ha I, I looked at a, a system called Tileable Item Sorting System Simple and Expandable <laughs> uh, 1.8 Ready, uh, and that was from Minecraft with Dummies, and I thought there's a really good, uh, really good um, uh, tutorial about that. But I, what confused me was um, why is this working and and how it's working. So that's why I'm going to sort of redo the tutorial and kind of just go over some of the key points that I think. Uh, that I think are really important uh, and and that we should have a look at. So let's get into first person mode and take a look at the system over here. So it's called Tileable because you can kind of create one version of it here uh, and then carry on making and adding different chests and different pieces like that. So the way it works is that you might have somewhere along the lines a chest and you kind of want to put all your stuff into this chest. So I might put some polished granite in there and uh, I might put some uh, some stone in, in there as well. It, it's already disappeared, so I'm going to put some stone in there. Now, what's happening is that it's falling into these hoppers and being transported along these hoppers. And you can see which direction it's being transported in because the hoppers are pointing in the direction of travel. So it's always pointing to there. And, it's, and then once it finishes there, it goes down into this chest at the bottom. That chest is like a junk one. Let me... Let me demonstrate junk. So I'm just going to get some uh, let's get some junk first. What? Uh, let's get some wet sponge. Okay. So I'm going to put some wet sponge in here as well. So we put three items in this chest so far. What's happening is they're travelling along here, and this chest is full of granite. This chest is full of stone. Oh, I think I put polished granite in. And the bottom chest it should be full of. Yeah, wet sponge and polished granite. So let's put some more polished. Let's put some just granite in there as well. Uh, so that's the granite. It's got 63 in there at the moment. And let's put this in here. And it's just put away. Okay. So what happens is it goes along here, and this there is a system in here that allows us to detect what items are coming through, uh, and then putting those items in the chest when we need to. So basically. In my world, I've got uh, my everyday Minecraft. I'm gonna uh, build all this by hand. It's gonna be a, quite a lot of uh, iron because uh, this is quite an expensive one. But you can do it in creative mode uh, if you want, uh, and it will automatically sort all your stuff out, which is brilliant. The way it's working is um, is in this hopper back here. We've got 22 pieces of the item that you want to be sorted, and so that was granite, and this one was stone okay uh, and then we've got a comparator at the back that goes two down a redstone repeater and a redstone torch underneath here and this is what I'm going to explain I'm going to explain why this system works so, so let's go over here and uh, let's talk you through it so the system works because um, let's take one of those things out of there put these back here the system works like this. The comparator checks the amount of stuff that's in a hopper. 
Okay. If that hopper has a particular amount of stuff in, it will output a stronger and stronger signal depending on the amount of stuff that's in it. So the minimum amount to create a one signal strength from the hopper is 22. If you put one more in there, it creates another signal. Okay. Right. So we've got so when we add one more block in there, it creates a new signal uh, that creates this energy here. And you can see, um, oh, I haven't done that quite right. Let's just put that uh, redstone repeater there. So you can see it lights up two blocks. So if I take one out, it just lights up one. So you're going to need 22 of whatever item you want, it, whether that's gold or something else like that. That's what you're going to need. It lights that up with one. If we put one more in there, it lights it up to two. When we do that, what we've got going on over here is that that will light up this block down here, which will in turn send a signal through this repeater towards this block here. And it turns off this redstone lamp. Now, hoppers, unlike other mechanisms, when you've got a redstone lamp on, okay, it stops the hopper. So if we look in this one, there's a piece of granite there. Now it's not going anywhere because I've got a redstone lamp underneath it. Let me press F3 and you can kind of see some of the information. So on the right hand side, you can see it says what I'm looking at. So here I'm looking at some Minecraft sandstone. Uh, here it says I'm looking at some smooth dial, right? Here it says I'm looking at some redstone wire and it says north side power, south side, west side, none. Uh, there it goes, power one. That tells us the comparator. And then if we look at the Minecraft hopper, the top one it says enabled, and then it's got in green true, and it says facing north as well. This one, it says Minecraft hopper enabled, false, facing south. Now let's me just knock this off. Now look at it, and yeah, it's now true. Okay, so if I put a redstone torch back under there, it stops the hopper any minute now. Uh, let's put one in there. You see, it's, nothing's going through, and it also updates and it says false. So when a redstone signal is affecting the hopper, and it can be on the bottom or on the side, as long as it's pointing towards the hopper, it will stop the hopper from working. So let's take a look at what's actually going on. If I open this chest and put one piece of granite in here, it flies down this line and it's looking for either an empty space or a stack of that item to join. So we've got several stacks of that item to join here. There's no empty spaces and that's important. If there's an empty space, it will find the first empty space. So you layer it all along the item hopper. Okay, so. When it finds it, it adds one more item to here. So instead of 22, it becomes 23 items. When it gets to the 23rd item, okay, the redstone comparator thinks, aha, it's got 23, and it will output a double signal. That double signal over here will immediately give a signal along this repeater here, and then it will turn off this redstone torch here, allowing the item to flow through into the chest. And that's great. And then immediately when we've got, uh, so I just sent one through, if that continues, then uh, then it will be, then it will turn it off. Okay. So it'll only let one thing through. So, but if it's a whole stack of things, they, they go in order. Okay. So what it'll do is let one item through of the same item over and over again. Now, I hope that makes sense. Now, to build something like this, it's reasonably easy. I think the hardest thing for turning these things is, um, and, and the most important thing is, which direction things go in. So if we see here, things are pointing in that direction. Now, this item here is pointing towards the hopper, uh, towards the redstone comparator. And it's doing that for a reason. If it was pointing in any other dire direction, it, or even down, it might actually pass things down because this one, remember, is enabled. Okay, but it's actually got nowhere to travel to, so it's uh, it's just going to hold them uh, until it, it becomes uh, until the one below it accepts the item.
Okay. When the one below it accepts the item, things can just flow downwards because the hopper will actually suck items from containers above them or by the side of them. Okay. So that's how this works. So this one's sucking the items down if it were to be enabled. And then obviously this one is also pointing towards the chest over here. So the way to get uh, hoppers to work in directions, you can put a hopper down. And when you first put a hopper down, it's actually just pointing straight down. Now if I were to look at it and crouch and then press, then you can see that it's now facing the item that it was uh, that you, you were looking at when you did it. Okay. So for example, if we had a chest and we wanted everything to go into the chest, we put a chest there, crouch down and do that and we can see that it's pointing towards the chest. So if I were to put this redstone lamp in here, it would very quickly go all the way through there and appear in the chest. <coughs> That's the basics of this tileable item sorting system, uh, and uh, I've got you know big uh, big congratulations to Minecraft with Dummies who kind of inspired it and uh, and allowed me to kind of make it for myself. Uh, and I thought it'd be a really good way of just explaining it to you uh, and obviously thinking about this thing. So the other things you could do with it is obviously thinking about um, depending on how many items there are. Now let's get let's get 64 of them and 64 of them and 64 of them and put. Uh, all these inside here now look we've got more stacks in here and if you see the signal strength increases and increases so I think there are more experiments you could do depending on the amount of things that are in these hoppers and the same thing will happen with chests as well if you put a chest down uh, the, hop the uh, comparator will detect how much stuff in and give a signal strength based on the contents of your chest or the contents of your hopper. So do think about that in the future. That might be a really interesting kind of experiment for your students too, or for yourself to have a little play with. Um, so finally, we can see that um, this chest thing goes all the way to the end, and there's nothing at the end, and then it goes all the way down to a chest at the bottom. And this is like, with anything that doesn't fit into these areas here, you can always put them into a big chest at the bottom, uh, and that's what this chest is. It's for miscellaneous items, so to speak. So I hope you've enjoyed this little tutorial, and uh, I'll be building this in Everyday Minecraft. So do check out my Everyday Minecraft channel as well, and you'll be to seeing how I do it in vanilla Minecraft. So we're going to have to be um, we're going to have to be doing it very, very gently. Uh, but we'll be doing that with me and Django, my son. Until next time, thank you very much for watching. Bye bye. Bye.